This video is brought to you by WeGotSoccer.com, offering all the latest soccer gear at everyday low prices. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the Adidas F50 Adi Zero My Coach 2 in leather and the brand new infrared black and white colorway. So I'll get the shoes out of the box, get this box out of the way, and if you guys could take a second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. Now if you guys would like more information on the overall performance of this guy, be sure to check out the written review on my website, SoccerReviewsForYou.com. You can find a link to that down below in the description. And I think that this is the next shoe in line to do a playtest video for, so if you guys are interested in seeing a playtest of this shoe, be sure to leave a comment down below. Now, as far as the colorway itself goes, that's what I really want to talk about first. Um, you guys, I'm not sure how it's going to look on camera, but infrared is a color that Adidas has used in the past, and every time that we've seen it, it's been a bright orange. And all the pictures that I've seen online, and even the pros wearing them on TV, they appear to be a very bright red, but in person, it is the exact opposite. It is a very bright orange color, and it's not red at all. So I just wanted to make people very clear that the shoe is red, is, sorry, is orange and not red. Just for comparison's sake, here is the infrared colorway, and here is the messy color. Um, this is clearly red, and this is clearly orange, so hopefully you guys can see that. I'm not sure why the online pictures are so misleading of this particular colorway, and I would assume the synthetic version of the Adi Zero in infrared is kind of the same situation. It is a bright orange, as opposed to a bright red. So as far as the upper itself goes, it is made from the Golio calfskin leather, just like the rest of the leather Adi Zeros. It's a pretty high quality leather with all things considered. It does have a very lightweight feel, and that's kind of the main concern of the Adi Zero. But it is nice that you do get a pretty solid amount of leather on this particular shoe. The cutoff point is right about here on the outside, going all the way around the midfoot, forefoot toe box area, and then cutting off at about the same point here on the instep. The leather itself has a pretty good thickness to it, and the tongue itself is also in leather. So you have a pretty useful uniform feel across the entire upper. One thing that a lot of people that worries a lot of people are the, the Adidas stripes here stitched on on both the outside and inside of the shoe. They are made out of a synthetic material and they do appear to have a slick finish, but in all honesty you don't notice any kind of difference in feel when you are making touches on the ball. You do of course have that off-centered lacing system with the laces being pushed slightly to the outside, allowing for a very comfortable fit and just enlarging the instep area of the shoe, keeping it clear of any kind of laces or anything like that. The back half of the heel area is made from a synthetic material, a lot thinner than the rest of the shoe, preventing any kind of overstretching and just making for a better fit in the long run. The heel liner itself is a very thin synthetic material, a little bit of texturing going on and there's not too much padding there, but there is enough to just maintain a very comfortable fit when you are wearing the shoes. Give you guys a quick look at the insole. It is of course removable and the leather version of the Adi Zero only comes with the comfort insole. It features a synthetic suede liner over top in black. Very very soft and comfortable and it's pretty much just your standard EVA foam insole with a little extra layer of EVA foam at the bottom to provide cushioning through the forefoot and midfoot as well as the heel area of the shoe. Um, it just provides some good step and comfort and overall a pretty decent insole considering the lightweight nature of the shoe. Of course like all the Adi Zeros it does feature the sprint frame construction which makes up this external heel counter right here as well as the sole plate itself. It's what makes the shoe so lightweight and in this particular colorway it is all black with a little bit of a sparkle to it. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. Overall it looks really really good in person and I definitely prefer the black sprint frames over the white sprint frames especially on this particular colorway. Um, the studs themselves are that same infrared orange color. Um, it's the same stud pattern we've seen on all the Adi Zeros. It's got the triangular studs that provide a pretty good combination of grip as well as maneuverability when planted. Um, so overall a great pair of uh, shoes to wear in firm natural grass playing surfaces. And another thing to mention is the shoe is my coach compatible which is what that lump is there at the bottom. So if you do have the Myco chip, you can slot it in there and track your stats on the go. So that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video goes. And move on to a quick weigh-in so you can see how lightweight these guys are. The F50 Adi Zero has always been about being as light as possible, but of course the leather version does have a little bit of extra weight in comparison to the synthetic model. Um, both in hand and on feet, the shoe definitely does feel lightweight, although not nearly as lightweight as a synthetic. Um, so I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US. We're going to throw it on the scale. And you can see that they weigh in at 7.2 ounces. So very lightweight for a shoe that is predominantly made from leather. Um, so overall you're getting that nice natural leather touch on the ball while still maintaining an ultra lightweight construction. So that's pretty much it as far as the weigh in portion of this video goes. 
I'm gonna move on to a quick on feet so I can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and what the sizing is like. All right, here's a look at the leather Adi Zeros on feet. And like any natural leather soccer shoe, there is some break in time required to allow the leather to soften up and stretch to your feet. So give the shoe a couple hours of break in time and you'll feel a lot more comfortable. The leather will stretch a fair amount and the leather overall will become a lot softer and more flexible. But that's not to say that they're not comfortable from right out of the box. As far as sizing goes, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. There's no sizing up or sizing down even though the shoe is leather. So if you are looking to order a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size. As far as width goes, it's not an overly narrow fitting shoe considering the lightweight construction, mainly because it does feature a leather upper, so you do get plenty of stretch in the forefoot and toe box area, whereas the midfoot is definitely cut a little bit more tight, especially with the base of the sole plate, you can see how narrow it actually is. So if you have overly wide feet, you're probably better off staying away from the Adi Zero series altogether. But if you have slightly wide feet to average to narrow feet, you're not gonna have any issues fitting into the leather Adi Zeros at all. So that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion of this video goes, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. Alright guys, that's it for my unboxing plus on-feet video of the Infrared Adidas F50 Adi Zero in leather. Like I mentioned earlier, if you would like more information on the performance of this shoe, be sure to check out the written review on my website, which you can find linked down below in the description. On that same review page, you're also going to find high quality images of this pair here, along with buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes to get you some additional discounts if you are interested in ordering a pair for yourself. Any questions you guys have, feel free to leave a comment down below, and if you guys could leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find links to all of my social media platforms down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.